Hello, my name is Tonu Mick. Welcome to my screencast on VIEW, Visual Understanding Environment. VIEW is a mind mapping software. It's an application that you can install on your computer and that will let you create mind maps. There are a couple of reasons why I wanted to talk about VIEW today. One is that it works very well with images. You can incorporate images in your mind map and VIEW makes it very easy for you to work with images and also present them. The second reason is VIEW combines presentation capabilities along with the mind mapping capabilities. So let's say for example that you have always thought that mind maps make for an excellent learning tool but you have had trouble presenting those mind maps that maybe students create in your classroom. Mind visual understanding environment can help you overcome this obstacle. Students could easily present their mind maps in a class. So let's uh, go and install visual understanding environment on our computer. Uh, to do that, we would simply go to View's uh, website at view.tufts.edu and there we will need to go and click on a download option. First we need to register. I am already registered so I will log in with my account and once there I will be able to download the software. The software is available for both PCs and Macs. I'll be able to save a file which um, I have already done and once it is saved. I can then run the installer. I have installed the file here and upon running it, it begins the installation process. If you don't have rights on your computer to install software, then please contact your tech support and they will help you, help you do that. I have already installed it on my computer, so I'm going to cancel the installation process. View is already installed on my computer, so I will start it up. And here is what a, a new map looks like. This is an empty map, but you can simply and easily fill that with new information. The building blocks of a mind map in view are nodes. So let's begin by adding some nodes to our mind map. Here is our new node. We can create some new ones again. And here is here is a mind map that we quickly created. Now I mentioned earlier that view works well with images. You can add an image to your mind map by simply dragging and dropping an image to inside the mind map. My image is already stored on a desktop. I'm simply going to drag and drop this image into my mind map. As you can see, it could be added into an existing node or it could also be added by itself. View comes with nice zoom tools. So let's say if we wanted to take a closer look at our image, then we can use the zoom tool and we can then see what our image looks like. So this is an example of uh, how to create a mind map in view. Let's take a look at the more sophisticated mind map. This mind map here is about an artist Manet and this mind map is available for download from the view website as well which is where I got it from. This mind map you will notice has nodes but also has some extra lines here. You'll see a green line going from one node to another. What that line is, is it is a pathway. And pathways are presentations that you can create by using your mind map. This pathway here is called an influences and it is currently visible. That is why we see this green line. If I make it invisible, a green line goes away. This pathway consists of four nodes or four slides, one, two, three, four. And let's take a look 
at what this pathway looks like. What would it look like if you were to play it back? So we have selected it and we will then play it back. As you can see, it takes us away from the mind map view and brings us to a first slide in our pathway. In this mode, in this presentation mode, uh, we can also zoom into images by clicking on each image individually, which is a nice option for us to bring something into focus. We can also go back and look at our entire mind map or exit the presentation altogether. So this demonstrates the presentation capability of view, which is very nicely combined with a mind mapping capability. This is all I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope you enjoyed this screencast on view and uh, will <coughs> check out this software. Thank you very much.